Most supermarkets in the UK also dabble in selling a few plants. They're almost always these small UGO shrubs with these generic descriptions. Prime example here. Here's me thinking evergreen meant all year round. And yes, it is rewarding to propagate or seed new stock, but I find it just as fun to start with cheap maturing plants. Let's go. Welcome back to Potscape. Oh, and UGO, come on, unidentified growing object? Today, we are whirring through the steps I've taken to turn these autumn and winter plants, AKA Ilex Cronata, <laughs> into bonsai material. First port of call is of course removing the plant from its pot. I'm tapping the outside just to loosen the pot bound root system before completely pulling it out. And with my root rake, well, it's just really just a fork. I'm going to begin removing the soil in a radial motion. For this plant to one day be a viable bonsai, I'll need to heavily prune the root system before even tackling its foliage. With the majority of the root system exposed, I have unearthed a secondary specimen growing beside it. A double yoker, if you will. <laughs> you recording sound? <laughs> well, yeah, I am, I am recording sound, but I can choose whether to use it or not. There's a meme right there for me. <laughs> Thanks, mate. I knew when buying this collection that a few of these pots held two individual plants each. The obvious tail was subtly rocking the base of the plants, and if attached, both stems would sway together. The opposite held true for the double yokers. As soon as I'm happy with the root system reduction, I'm going to plant it up in a mix of two part perlite, two part grit to one part soil. And here's where we're at. The plants have been separated and potted down. They've sat draining for an hour and feel relatively settled in the dishes. I want to finish all of the planting before beginning to tackle the branch structure. So one down, one more to go. Oh, and finally introducing my luxurious dunk tank. <laughs> it's just a bucket with water in. What were you expecting? What were you expecting? <laughs> this pair were much more balanced in growth, which made it harder to separate the root systems. Some brash cuts had to be made, but one is absolutely confident both will recover in time. And before even recognising these plants as a type of Ilex Cronata, their small leaf set just naturally appealed to me. I looked at them on the shelf and thought, hmm, I could make something out of that. So that's four, perhaps three to four year old material for £10. Crazy, right? Let's move straight on to the cut. So I need to marry up its branch structure with their reduced root systems. Initial cuts are gonna open up the general structure, instantly losing these long, uninteresting branches, but I just wouldn't use in the end game anyway. Next, I want to try and pick a general form for the tree, perhaps selecting a few shoots that might become branches later. Because I won't be wiring any of these specimens, I don't have full control on its branch structure, so I'm going to leave myself enough options to maybe pick later on as it develops throughout the seasons. And as a personal note, there are a few branches and a few trees for that matter that I'm not too keen on, but is it not worth the punt if I had one incredible looking bonsai 
out of this whole venture and it's cost me next to nothing. And if anybody is interested in how much I've spent on this project, ignoring the soil mix, I've spent £50 on plant and £23.40 on the dishes, which means £73.40 in total. I have spent £4.07 on each of these specimens. Now that I'm satisfied with the general shape of each tree, I'm going to reduce the specimens down equally. Although they'll be individual bonsai, I still want a general height throughout the project. And before I bring the new additions back to the collection, I'm going to reduce a few of the plants I'm yet to finish pruning. I've really enjoyed this project. It's gone from like literal shrub to actually something quite presentable. Here is the final result. I guess we'll have to wait for autumn and winter to update you on these autumn and winter plants. In the meantime, start getting your hands on a few UGOs and try for yourself. <laughs> UGOs, I love that. I love that. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have, hello friend, the pressing of this button was not in vain. We are genuinely humbled by you investing in us all. I don't see a small subscriber count. I see a tight knit group of potscapers. Ciao for now people.